We're here with Richard Turner, Director of Fundraising at ActionAid, and we're at the Institute of Fundraising's National Convention in London, and we're in the ActionAid room. Richard, tell us what's going on in this room. Uh, well, what we've done is the Institute have kindly uh, loaned us this sort of boardroom for the three days, um, and what we're trying to do is capture all those little gems that all of us get from uh, going to seminars you know, at that moment. And I, I've, I've often found that I'll come somewhere like here, I'll take some great notes, I'll think, oh, I must tell so-and-so, and I'll head back to the office, and of course I'll be hit left, right and centre with the day-to-day -day things that we have to deal with, and, and those great ideas and notes just get forgotten. Um, so that's what we're trying to do, and before we came to the conference, we, we've come up with the key questions that we're trying to find answers to. So we're trying to use the conference in a strategic way, and it fits in perfectly with our planning process. So we're starting to uh, shape our plans for next year, and if we can get a few insights that help us pin down answers to things that we really struggle to uh, resolve ourselves, then, then it'll be worth it to, uh, ten, tenfold up. So we're in, in a room covered with post-it notes and, uh, and big pieces of paper with, with writing on. Who's going to gather up all the information and knowledge shared? Well, we've got um, someone who's uh, Liz, who's p uh, part of the team, has uh, dedicated her entire time to be capturing and talking to people as they come, they've come in. We're writing it up as we go along. Um, and next week, we've set aside an objective setting day. So uh, we hope all of this knowledge and these insights and ideas and tips and people we've met and trends are all going to feed in that, help give us that external picture that will help us set far better objectives or at least inspire us maybe uh, to, to take, you know, follow through what other organisations are doing. So has any, any other charity done this before? Or was, it, was this your idea? Um, I, I was, because I, I sit on the convention board and I was really struck um, that that in the past the convention hasn't really sold it strategically to organisations and so when I offered it up as an idea the convention were really keen to accommodate, um, let's see how it operates. Um, and I think it's been uh, really useful for us and it's given me lots of insights about how the convention could be perhaps better sold to organisations. So I think we all come as individuals but could we sell the convention to organisations and say how does this fit into your st strategic thinking each year? Um, and come up with a package that enables them to make the best use of it, as opposed to just something where you're sending individuals along as delegates to get that feel-good factor or a little bit of training. And I think sold in that manner, if, if you think of the cost, say, of hiring a consultant and reviewing your strategic plan, you know, the cost of sending a small team to the convention to capture all that knowledge there and then is, is a fraction of the amount. So, um, I think in that respect, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're learning as we go along. Um, I'm sure there's many ways we could do it better, but I'd really recommend it for anyone thinking of uh, coming to the convention next year. And where can we find out more about ActionAid? Oh, where can you find out more about ActionAid? Well, um, of course, visit our website. Um, I'd like to think we're starting to become better known. Um, and it's funny, I, I always find that uh, the fundraising community are always a good place to start. Uh, people often pipe up that they sponsor a child or they know someone that does. Um, so I think uh, we're one of the fundraisers charities as well. So I'd, I'd like to think there are quite a few supporters here at the convention too. Richard Turner of ActionAid, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>